Hi all, today we are going to demonstrate you how to build and deploy the microservices on MuleSoft and integrate with ELK stack. Here we can see some of the key features of the ELK stack. Here we can see some of the key components of the ELK stack. Now let's start the deployment of the ELK stack using the image on OpenShift. Here let's log into the OKD page with admin credentials. Now let's jump into ELK stack which is already created and click on deploy image option. Then provide the image name in the box, then click on search, then click on deploy and then close. Here, on OKD dashboard, let's discuss the created application with ELK stack. Here in overview tab we can see ELK stack. Let's wait few seconds for the pod to be up and running. Click on the Applications tab here we can see options like deployments, services and routes and many more options. Click on the Deployments option to review the deployed ELK stack for its status and number of replicas running. Now go to the Services under the same Applications tab and click on ELK stack to see its service details. Now click on overview tab here we can see that pod is up and running. Now we can create a route which is used to expose the traffic outside by clicking on it. And provide the host name, target port then, click on create. Observe the route has been created. Click on it to see the Kibana UI. Now go back to OpenShift to start the deployment of the Mule service on ELK stack project. Click on add to project option which is displayed on right side corner. Select Deploy Image option then provide the image name in the box, then click on Search, then click on Deploy, and then Close. Go to Overview tab and then click on Mule Service. Let's wait few seconds for the pod to be up and running. Click on the Deployments option to review the deployed Mule service and its status and number of replicas running. Now go to the Services under the same Applications tab and click on Mule service to see the service details. Go to Overview tab and then click on Create Root option. Then provide the host name, target port, and then click on Create. Observe the route has been created. Click on it to see the output. Now go to the Kibana UI and click on Management tab. Select the index patterns and click on check for new data. Here we can see the file beat index pattern. Now we can create file beat under define index pattern. Click on next step then select timestamp under configure settings. And then click on create index pattern. Go to the discover tab and observe the logs of mule service. When we hit the Mule service application observe the bar graph. Now again we need to deploy two more Mule services with the same procedure in the LK stack project. Go to Visualize tab and see the three different containers. Now click on Mule 4 file beat get user 148b8wpy chart and see the count logs. Now we can hit the Mule get user slash get user details application. Here we can see the application hit logs. Next, go to the Visualize tab here we can see the counts are increased. Now let's verify the container name here check the value name after go to open shift, select the pod then verify the value name, and pod name. That's all for this video, for any queries please reach us at devops at eaiesp.com.